Hello. Hi, how are you? Where should I look? Are you guys able to hear me now? I was selected along with 49 other teachers to be a part of a program through WGBH to have this interactive approach to science where the videos, the images have all been provided by NASA and PBS. Hidden within and beneath the swirling clouds on Earth's surface are different forms of precipitation. The technology helps us conceptualize a lot of things that we can't really do in the classroom without the technology. This model accurately shows the relative size of the planets, but not their relative distance. It really was able to reach all of the different students at different levels. The modules that the students use really got students excited. I love that all of the tech is integrated into um, the interactive part for the kids. I ended up showing the video of the sun shining on the earth in space. It was incredible. You just heard, oh my gosh, holy cow, look at that. And it had a lot of different tools for the kids to use. There were interactive questions, there were text boxes, so it was a very integrated resource in that way. Having a range of resources is very helpful because different kids with different learning styles can access the resources in different ways. Through video, through games, through pen and paper kind of worksheets and funny cartoons, all repeating the same concepts. Hiya guys! Use the flashlight to help keep find the animal. Especially for those kids that really struggle with reading, Maybe they don't read well, but they watch really well. And they can pick up on things that are happening, learning visually or through sound, instead of always the strong readers who are so great at everything. The first time that I let my kids go off on their own, you could hear a pin drop. They were so incredibly engaged. It was mind blowing. I had one student turn to me and go, how is that possible? I wonder how many future NASA scientists just got born from watching this video. That's just how excited they were about it. 